may be saying, ah, verify. No, nah, I'm still going to heat the car up a little bit. A little more uh, nip in the air for today. We're at 32 leading things off. I think we'll drop down into the upper 20s before daybreak. We have clear skies now, and one thing we're going to be watching are the roads and showing good conditions right now. But as the temperature drops, we have a lot of moisture sitting on the roads and especially the bridges anywhere the air can circulate underneath. So like a culvert, I'd be watching for perhaps some black ice to form. Plows are actually out now in a limited capacity, but they are out there. So we're watching for something not bad yet, but just some potential temps in the upper 20s and low 30s, a little bit of a breeze out there coming in from the north. We're looking at uh, temps on the windchill side of things into the 20s. Clearing for now, but just upstream and upstream is actually Wisconsin this morning. You see another little band of mixture headed our way and it's going to be targeting more eastern Iowa. Now it does look like it's taking a direct line towards central Iowa, but you have to remember this system is moving eastward, so it's going to tend to pull it further south as it does so. So eastern Iowa more in line to see this activity today versus central Iowa. Temperatures do bounce back into the mid and upper 30s today, but those clouds will be solidly in place this afternoon. So on Futurecast, yeah, you do start to see some returns here, but more so a focus on eastern Iowa. I'd be watching places like Oskaloosa over through Sigourney and Ottumwa for the opportunity to maybe pick up a bit of a dusting out of this feature. But overall, once again, it is another warm scenario, so we're struggling to accumulate anything. If we do get it done, again, it's a little more than a dusting. I'd be watching towards Keokuk and Wapalo and uh, also Davis counties as well. So a couple of quiet days overall with no major storm systems. It's going to be a cooler start to the new year. You see that trend there, another little burst of cold air into the upper levels. By and large, we're going to keep us moderated pretty close to what's typical to the time of year going forward in the next week. 28 is going to be the low for tonight, and we'll bounce back into the 40s tomorrow. Sunshine really going to be helping there. We have uh, temperatures into the 40s on back to back days, but there's that dip back down to what's typical for New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day.